Tired of hate on cops because we hadn't hate on cops this show yet. You guys probably heard about this one. This happened, I guess, uh, a couple weeks ago. Another one where, I guess, supposedly somebody wrote pig on a cop's coffee cup. And so it went viral. Here's another one. Another cop's like, oh, my God, I went to McDonald's and they wrote fucking pig on my coffee cup. And they offer me a free meal. But hell no, a Whopper and fries is not enough for what you've done to me. I want your employees fired over this. And, of course, it was the fucking goddamn cop who wrote it on there himself. Decided he was going to play the victim and get some poor person fired over it because they're giant fucking pieces of shit. Good Lord, another police officer falsely claims an insulting message on a cup. Video proves he lied. This is what police will do just for a few seconds in the spotlight. Imagine what they do in court when their job is on the line. Right. Imagine what they do when their cameras are off. And you disrespect them. You wonder why black people have such a hatred towards the police. Why they don't feel like they're wanted members of society imagine what has happened to them generation after generation after generation by these fucks not just black people white people too like everybody of every stripe but especially black folks so anyway let's see does they show this motherfucker's face let's name and shame this fuck if they show his face on here uh, uh this article don't show his fucking face anyway he wrote it he wrote it himself. Uh, a Junction City McDonald's is receiving national attention after a hearing police officer said he received a coffee with foul language written on it. The owner of the Junction City McDonald's, Dana Cook, said they have a video showing it wasn't their employee. The owner sent KSA a news message. My McDonald's had the utmost respect for all members of law enforcement. Why? And the military. Pfft, and were troubled by the accusations made. We thoroughly reviewed our security video from every angle, which clearly shows the words were not written by one of our employees. We look forward to working with Chief Hornaday. Hornaday? What a name. As he continues his investigation. So, yeah, they fired this guy. He didn't they fire him. He, uh, he resigned, but basically he got fired. So, anyway, they should charge him with a fucking crime. Trying to get a poor person fired. Because he wants to play the fucking victim. And act like, oh my god, I'm a hero cop and they're shitting on me. Oh, yeah, did you guys hear about this? I mean, holy shit. Like, I don't even know what the fuck they're thinking at this point, folks. I don't know what the fuck they're thinking. So, basically, these fucking piece of shit cops go out to these homeless people. And they harass them. And they take their signs. And they kick them off the streets. And they come back and they make a collage of the signs they've stolen. And that's not good enough for them. They literally post this to social media and brag about it. What the fuck? How could you be a bigger idiot than this? How could you think this wasn't going to go poorly for you? Want to wish everybody in 4th Precinct a Merry Christmas, especially our captain. Hope you enjoy our homeless quilt. Sincerely, Panhandle Control. Yeah! Look what pieces of shit we are for harassing the most vulnerable and poor people in our society. Look how proud we are of it. Yeah! Cops are amazing, right? Blue lives matter! And of course, didn't go over very well. This went viral. They got shit on by everybody, just as they should. No words for this. The juxtaposition between their smiles and the horror they have on display reminds me of the smiling face thumbs up of the guard in the photo of Abu Ghraib torture victim. And that's exactly what it is. They, they revel in it, folks. They revel in the misery. The misery is the point. The pettiness is the point. And, and conservatives, like, love it. They're like, huh, look at all the liberals. They're making mad with this. I love it. Huh? Look at how triggered you are. It's just, it's like kindergarten. Kindergartners are running everything. Hey guys, Dusty Smith here, and this is CC, one of our rescues at the Humanist Society of Mississippi Animal Sanctuary. If you enjoy my videos, please consider supporting us. We do a lot of good work here. Even a dollar or two a month helps, and it's really appreciated. Thanks, guys. Mwah.